If we take this thick plate of aluminum, which does not stick to magnets, and slide it down a track, the magnets act like a powerful brake. The electrically conductive aluminum passes through the magnetic fields, which induces eddy currents inside the aluminum. These swirling currents act like little electromagnets, acting to repel the permanent magnets beneath. We set the gap between the magnets and the aluminum plate small to expose the aluminum to the strongest field possible. In our most recent blog article, we wanted to take a deeper look at these forces. Can we predict them? Is there a formula that works? To gather some test data, we set up a simple scenario. We mounted a long aluminum extrusion vertically. This aluminum is 1 8 of an inch thick. We created a 3D printed trolley that slides down it. And it slides over, fall on there. And of course, it free falls, you're just measuring gravity. The plastic trolley has pockets for two half inch diameter magnets. The magnets are set in the pockets with opposite poles facing one another. They attract to one another, creating a strong, fairly uniform magnetic field in the gap between them. When released on the track, the trolley is slowed by eddy currents. We repeated the test with various magnets ranging from an eighth of an inch to one inch thick. This makes big changes to the magnetic field strength in the gap. To make all the tests fair, we added steel balls to the trolley as ballast for the smaller magnets. This way, the mass of the trolley doesn't change across our tests. No magnets, just gravity. Thin magnets, we get some breaking. Thicker magnets, it falls even slower. Stack all the tests together, and the bigger magnets clearly fall slower. What did we learn? For more in-depth technical details about predicting eddy current forces, check out the blog article on our website. We collected a bunch of data in our simple tests falling down an aluminum rail. We tested different magnet combinations on two different rail thicknesses. We compared all this data to a formula for drag force. By plugging in values like field strength and the aluminum thickness, we can estimate the eddy current drag force as a function of velocity. Plug that iteratively into Newton's equations of motion, and we were able to correlate our experimental data with the formula. Looking at the changing position over time, we found the formula predicts it fairly well. Graphing the trolley's velocity, it accelerates initially, but then levels off at a speed where the drag force balances with gravity. Predicting the more complex, multi-method setup wasn't perfect with this simple formula, but it's a start.